Hi, Ayaya here. Let's read The ABCs of Mathematics by Chris Ferry. A is for addition. Addition is the mathematics of counting. We use the plus symbol for addition. The opposite of addition is subtraction. We use the minus symbol for subtraction. B is for base. A base number is a number being multiplied by itself many times. An exponent is the number of times the base is being multiplied. Rather than writing two times two times two, we write two cubed. The number two is the base and three is the exponent. C is for chord. A chord is a straight line inside of a circle. Chords are used in geometry and trigonometry. Each end of a chord touches the circle. If the circle passes through the center of the circle, did I say that right? I think I read it wrong. Let me try it again. If the chord passes through the center of the circle, it is called the diameter. That sounded better to me. D is for division. Division is the mathematics of fair sharing. Division separates something into equal parts. The number being divided is the dividend. The number used to divide by is the divisor. Division is the inverse opposite of multiplication. E is for equation. An equation is a mathematical statement that one thing is equal to another. Equations use the equals symbol to say that the left side is the same as the right side. For example, three plus three equals six. The numbers on the left are equal to the numbers on the right. F is for focus. The focus is the point where reflected lines meet. A magnifying lens has a focus for light passing through it. Changing the geometry of the shape changes where the focus is. A focus is also used to change the power of magnifying mirrors. G is for golden ratio. The golden ratio is a number equal to about 1.618. The golden ratio appears often in mathematics, nature, and even art. The golden ratio is given as the symbol phi. The length of the sides of each square above gets smaller by a ratio of phi. H is for hypotenuse. A hypotenuse is the longest side of a right triangle. A right triangle has one 90 degree square angle. The side of the triangle opposite this angle is called the hypotenuse. I is for infinity. Infinity is the word to describe the idea of being bigger than any number. Infinity itself is not a number. Infinity is one of the first abstract ideas of mathematics. Wow. <laughs>
J is for joint probability. Joint probability is the likelihood of two different events happening at the same time. If two coins were flipped into the air, the joint probability of both coins landing with heads up is one fourth. K is for knot. A knot is a closed loop. In mathematics, the two ends of a knot are joined together and cannot be undone. The basic knot is a circle shape. Some knots can be unwound to look like a circle and others cannot. I'm sorry, I just thought that was kind of funny because not is spelled like cannot and then the last word was cannot. So, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that's not funny. <laughs> I don't know, I'm hungry. Are you hungry? I could eat right now. <laughs> Back to the book. L is for limit. A limit is the value that a sequence approaches but never reaches. A sequence of balls can go on for infinity, getting closer and closer to a line but never crossing it. This line is the limit of the sequence. M is for matrix. A matrix is a table of numbers. Matrices are used in the area of mathematics called linear algebra. They can be written surrounded by brackets or parentheses. N is for null set. The null set is the set of things with nothing in it. Seems weird, doesn't it? but it is in fact used to create math itself. O is for one to one. One to one is a special mathematical map. A map is a pairing of things from two different sets. In a one to one map, each item in each set has only one partner. P is for prime. A prime number is divisible only by one and itself. Examples of prime numbers are one, two, three, five, seven, and 11. Composite numbers are those that can be evenly divided by other numbers. For example, the number four can be divided evenly by one and two and four. I read that wrong. The number four can be divided evenly by one, two, and four. Okay. Q is for quadrangle. Any shape with exactly four sides is called a quadrangle. Quadrangles have straight sides and four angles. A square is an example of a quadrangle. R is for root. Root is the shortened way of saying square root. The square root of a number is another number that can be multiplied by itself to give the original number. For example, the root of nine is three, since three times three equals nine. S is for subset. The subset is a smaller part of a larger group. If all the things in one set are contained in a large set, it is called a subset. Subsets help break complicated groups down to simpler building blocks. T is for torus. A torus is a three-dimensional donut shape. 
It is a basic building block in the study of typo topology. Topology is the study of mathematical shapes as they are twisted and transformed. U is for union. The union of two sets is another set that contains the elements of both. Unions and intersections of sets behave like the addition and subtraction of numbers. V is for variable. A variable is used in equations when a number is unknown. Variables are quantities that can change and take on different values. In this equation, both X and Y are variables. W is for whole number. Whole numbers are the counting numbers including zero. Whole numbers have no fractions or decimals. Whole numbers are not less than zero and are not negative. X is for X axis. The straight line going left to right on the graph is the X axis. Relationships between two variables can be shown on a graph. Graphs can be used to depict things like lines, angles, and curves. The points plotted on a graph are called coordinates. Y is for Y-intercept. The Y-intercept is the point where a line or curve crosses the vertical axis on a graph. The vertical line on a graph is called the Y-axis. When a line or curve crosses the Y-axis, the X-coordinate is equal to zero. Z is for zero. <laughs> zero means nothing. Whole numbers represent an amount of something, but zero means there is no amount to count. It is also used as a placeholder to show that something is missing. Wow, mathematics is cool. I can't wait to see how smart you grow up to be reading stuff like this. You're a genius in the making. All right. See you next book. <laughs>